Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fridge, clean with me, clean outs, and Costco grocery haul. So we've done one other Costco grocery haul on my channel, but that was more like a essential haul where we had to go and get a lot of things. But today's video is going to be more of like our staples, what we get every weekend um, when we have to go. So um, you're gonna see the staples that we keep in our home for my husband and I, and then our little girl, Peyton. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Taylor and my channel is lifestyle, just everyday life. I'm currently pregnant right now. I'll be 30 weeks on Monday. So the week this is being posted, I am 30 weeks pregnant and it's definitely feeling like fall in our home. My husband has football on. I painted my nails a nice fall color. Um, if you're curious what color this is, I'll leave it in the description box. And I do want to mention when we get back from Costco, I'm going to share with you everything we got and then I'll also share with you the prices if you're curious. But other than that, I think that's it. So if you like these types of videos, please give this video a like. If you're also a big fall fan like I am, I feel like every woman is for the most part, leave down in the comments what your favorite thing is about fall. I just love having football on, even though I don't watch it very often. We're big U of M, University of Michigan fans, so that's what we're currently watching. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling and go ahead and get into the fridge. So this is what our fridge is currently looking like. There was a lot of spoiled food, unfortunately, because Jeff and I just got back from our baby moon and my in-laws were in town, so we ate out quite a bit while they were here for a week. So unfortunately, we had a lot of food prep that just went bad, so I need to clean all of that out. stick around towards the end because I am gonna show you what it looks like all restocked with our fresh new groceries I don't know if it's just me but I always have the hardest time finding the expiration dates on cans and sauces are you like that too let me know in the comments can you imagine me with someone else holding me tight here in my bed? If you haven't already, I hope you click the subscribe button and stick around. I would love to have you join this little community I started growing here. I upload videos twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then I also post bonus videos here and there. So I hope you stick around and subscribe. with barely any food so we desperately need to go to Costco so I'm excited to stock up and start the week fresh hey guys we just got back from Costco and I'm gonna go through everything with you I started piling everything up I have some crazy hair going on right now I um, started piling everything going up so we can go through it together I also have our receipt handy so I can share with you the prices I don't know how I'm gonna share with you the prices yet I may tell them verbally or I may just have like a little sidebar down here um, with how much the items were this trip was much less expensive than we typically walk out of Costco at I feel like we're normally around $200 but this time it was purely food we really didn't get anything else and our total was $178.79. I will say there are two things on here or that we got that we don't typically buy, which is Jeff bought a big bag of candy for um, his office. They always take um, turns buying candy for their office. And then um, we are also going to our friend's house tomorrow for the Detroit Lions game. 
So we also got a pack of drumsticks. So I'll show what exactly it is and the prices, but um, yeah, those are my two quick disclaimers. So first off, if you watch my other Costco haul, you'll know that we are big banana lovers. I leave one out for Peyton to eat throughout the week, and then I cut up all of these for all of us actually, because I make smoothies all the time, so I cut up all the bananas and freeze them, so you can use that instead of ice, which is a great little hack. Then, um, picked up these English cucumbers. I love these as like a quick little snack. It satisfies a good crunch craving, and it's just really refreshing. So the bananas were $1.19 each. Each bundle was $1.19, and the cucumbers are, $5.49, so for three cucumbers it was $5.49. Moving on to cantaloupe, I got two cantaloupes. So I'll cut that up for Peyton and I to eat. Jeff's not really a big cantaloupe fan. $4.99 for both, which I feel like is a really good deal. I feel like when you go to your local grocery store, it's normally $5 for one, so that was a good price. And then um, we bought a big bag of chips when Jeff's parents were in town and I can't just eat plain tortilla chips. So my favorite salsa is the Jack's Cantina salsa. It's like the perfect mix of like chunky and kind of like a, a thinner consistency as well. So if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend this one. That was $6.49. I am also big into salad kits. They have saved so much time for me when making lunch and dinners and things like that. So I got three different kinds this trip. I haven't bought this one in a really long time. I've tried them all from Costco, but this is their organic Mediterranean crunch chopped salad kit. And normally I will eat, like I'll get two uses out of this. I like huge salads with the chicken I'm about to show you. So this one was $5.99. And I am a huge lover of their, just their classic Caesar salad kit mix. And this is $3.99. I don't even need to look at the receipt because I buy this so often and I know it's $3.99. And probably my favorite salad from there, if you haven't tried any, is their sweet kale chopped salad. But I basically, ate myself out of this. I ate it so often that I couldn't eat it for the longest time and now I'm starting to reincorporate it into my diet. So anyways, this is the sweet kale and this one was $5.49. So I believe those are all the vegetables we got for the week. And that will probably last us like a week and a half with the salad kits, maybe if we're lucky. So moving on to bagels, we've never bought these before, but Peyton likes bread in the morning like waffles and things like that and they don't have flavored waffles she's not a big like plain waffle person so i figured this was a safe route to go because she loves the blueberries so this is the cinnamon raisin one i thought they were blueberry but they were raisin she'll not know the difference and she'll love them but for two of these it was i think 6.49 which i thought was a really good deal it was 6.99 for both of these so these will last us i'll probably just freeze a bag and then leave one out for the week and another thing i shared in my last costco haul were these caveman um are these paleo yeah caveman paleo bars i love these for like a quick on the go or i'm just not that hungry and i need to eat something they're pretty balanced in terms of nutritional facts so if you're curious you can check out my other video or i'm sure you might just be able to google the nutritional facts if that's something that you're curious about but i highly recommend and these were on sale i think for five dollars off uh let's see so these were 17.99 and you get 22 of them peyton loves to eat cheese but who doesn't so we always get this colby jack cheese if you haven't seen what my toddler eats in a day and you're curious i'll link that video for you but she eats this practically every day and it's one of her favorite words is cheese so yeah picked up a block of this and it was 5.69 which i feel like that's such a good price i mean it's literally the size of my head <laughs> another thing for peyton she really likes smoothies well we call these smoothies but it's just yogurt and it's by stonyfield the organic probiotic smoothie it's just one flavor their strawberry one I don't know how many in here 12 of them are in here and they are 
8.69 for the little bundle of them. And I just put these in her sippy cups and then she'll just drink it um, when she needs a little snack. So these are the wings that we're gonna be taking over to our friend's house. So for four and a half pounds, it came out to, so yeah, anyways, these should be good. Jack's just gonna cook them on the grill and we'll take them tomorrow. We also always get the large carton of organic brown eggs. And this was $5.99. Jeff and I see this every time we go and we always want it but never get it. But, but today we threw it in the cart to make for dinner and it's their chicken and mozzarella ravioli. This will be great for Peyton to eat throughout the next few days as well. And this was $9.79. So I feel like that's a really decent deal. And there's 14 grams of protein in the serving. So that's pretty awesome too. So this is gonna be really yummy to make. And then we realized we didn't need egg whites, but Jeff accidentally threw them in the cart anyways. He thought we were running low, but we always buy these um, egg whites at Costco. It's a much better deal getting it there than at your local grocery store. It's insane how much they charge you at your local grocery store. I feel like for two of these, which is like one big carton, it's like close to $5 or even over $5. And those were $8.89. So for this box, it's $8.89. I am obsessed with their Tyson chicken panko breaded, Tyson panko breaded chicken breast. <laughs> they're so good, we all eat them. They're so easy to make and oh, they're just so good. And this bag is $13.99. And then in terms of fruit, Peyton is a huge fruit lover. And so am I, just, I want all the sweets right now being pregnant. So we bought a little thing of blueberries. I feel like they must be going out of season because normally I feel like they're like one and a half times this size, maybe even two times this size. Um, but anyway, so these were $4.49, which again, I feel like for half of this container, it's about $5 at your local grocery store. So anyways, that's a great deal. And then strawberries, we get quite a bit. And these were $8, $7.99. And I love their grapes. Grapes must be in season right now because they're so amazing right now. So these are just the red seedless table grapes. Those were $5.69. And then if you can see, we got a watermelon. I feel like watermelon season is on the decline. Tell me if I'm wrong, because the last few we've gotten have been not that great, to be honest with you. Like the texture has been totally weird. And I was trying to convince Jeff not to get a watermelon this time and just stick to this fruit and the cantaloupe, but he was intrigued with how dark the watermelon was. So we shall see how good it was or is, but the watermelon was, 5.89. We always get almond milk. We pretty much that's all we drink. Almond milk, in terms of like Peyton, she doesn't do the greatest on um, dairy. So we stick with that and I'm a big fan of almond milk myself. So for three containers, which is a gallon and a half, it came out to 8.99. And then I also have the big bag of candy over there for Jeff's office and the bag of candy was $15.99. So pretty expensive bag of candy, I must say. So I'm gonna unpack everything, put it in the fridge, and then I'll show you what our fridge looks like stocked. Okay, so I just put everything away and right now it's looking much better than it did earlier. I switched some things around in terms of like layout, but once some of the things get cut, like the watermelon and the cantaloupe, this will look a little bit fuller. Um, but I just have all of our almond milk, almonds milk up here, Peyton's yogurts, our egg whites, eggs, raviolis that will cook up. And then in here, I just have spreads, the cheese, this is some old like pizza dough, lemon, and then anything that we end up cooking or like leftovers go in this little section here. All of our fruit, that bowl back there you probably saw earlier has apples. I love my apples cold. Like this video if you like apples cold too. The meat that we're gonna cook tomorrow for food prep. I keep all of our salad kits on the left and then any other vegetables are on the right. And then this is now empty. I have sauces, peanut butter, some random stuff, 
and then I moved actually I moved this yesterday I believe but I put all my coffee stuff down here in a random bottle of wine we have salad dressings and then some tonic water and sparkling water behind the salad dressings I don't like it so that's kept kind of to the side for guests and other purposes and then all of Jeff's sauces and marinades and then up here like the things that we gravitate towards on a more frequent basis so like salsa ketchup mustard there's a huge thing of minced um, garlic and then Cholua I didn't do a freezer clean with me but I'll just show you what's in here if you're curious so this little section up here I just have um, all of our ice cream cones and then packs and Peyton's teether down here we have our vegetables frozen vegetables some down here freezing this bag of bagels and then I keep all of our like breakfast stuff over here like toast waffles French toast things like that and then our chicken and then the cut up bananas are underneath the vegetables this bag of greens for smoothies I also didn't show you our pantry if you guys are curious I'm not loving our pantry layout right now but if you're new here we are building a home and we should be in it hopefully by Christmas or around the new year like freshly in the new year we'll be in the new house which is so exciting so I'm not really spending a lot of time with organizing this these are bins from our old house I just made it do and I hate the layout of this pantry but we're making it work I put the bananas away I just have all this for like fruit and whatnot all of the caveman bars are in here you can see we have quite a bit bagels and things like that um, for the morning oatmeal but I think that was everything from our haul so if you like this video please give it a like subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video I hope you have a great day bye guys